In this video, I'm going to share with you what you can learn from the one and only Sophia Amoruso, who has seen the highest of highs and lowest of lows, but someone who doesn't stay down for long. She worked as a campus security host to survive while she was working on her eBay store, pivoted and turned out into a globally recognized brand called the Nasty Girl. Made it really big, wrote a best selling book, but then she really struggled to keep the business afloat. But then she went ahead and created what we now know as the Girl Boss Media. Now she's working on a little venture called the Business Class. Today I'm going to share with you the five lessons that I have learned from her that can actually help you in your business journey right now. Hi, I'm Cecil. I'm a visionary money coach for female coaches, consultants, and industry experts who want to significantly generate more income from the business steadily but sensibly without having to sacrifice their family time moments. I came across Sophia Amoruso during my research on female entrepreneurs. The research is based on finding out and focusing on the pains, problems, challenges female entrepreneurs face when it comes to growing the business having financial stability, security, and making more money in the business without having to sacrifice their family time. So when I first came across Sophia Maruso, I featured her on my Instagram on the Woman I Admire series. Since then, I've been thinking about featuring her here in on YouTube as well as share the lessons that I've learned from her that can actually help you in your business journey. So I'm going to share with you five lessons that I've learned from her that can help you in your business journey and help you to move forward in your business faster if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet go ahead and do that right now and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future new videos which are published every tuesday at 4 pm gmt now let's go through the lessons learned from sophia amoruso lesson number one money looks better in the bank rather than on your feet it relates to how we view money in the business but oftentimes we buy things without actually thinking about whether we have enough money in the business or not because in our society people buy things with money that they don't have to impress people they don't need to so if keeping money in your business is your single biggest problem then making more money in your business will not solve the problem so the behavior of keeping the money business having financial discipline is more important in this case than money making skills in one of the research I conducted with a female voice coach, and she said to me, she would rather spend 150 pounds on a new pair of boots rather than making some tweaks to her website, a landing page, or doing some Facebook ads because that would make her feel good instantly. How about instead of impulsive buying, you will still find some discipline in your business and you treat yourself after only reaching a milestone. It doesn't have, have to be how small or big the milestone is as long as it is a milestone. It's like going to the gym and telling yourself like after two, three weeks that it's not working and kind of feeling demotivated, but instead you, you get on with it. You start working no matter how hard it is and suddenly you start seeing some results um, in your body. And before you know it, you drop your size, let's say from 14 to 12 or 12 to 10. So, and for every size drop, it's like a milestone for you and you treat yourself. How about you apply the same principle approach in your business? So instead of buying for the sake of just buying and possibly running into cash flow problems, you have financial discipline in your business and, and make financial decisions based on that. So lesson number one, the money looks better in the bank rather than on your feet. Lesson number two, learning how to control your finances is one of the most important things you will ever do. Most female coaches consultants do the exactly the opposite. They deviate away from the idea of controlling their finances because they think they don't have the expertise or strength in this area because they are a creative female entrepreneur. Or they think money is a byproduct of what they do as long as they're making impact in other people's lives. That should be okay. Or they think that as long as I can make more sales in the business, I should be okay. All my business problem would be solved if I can make more sales in the business. 
So they would rather focus on the sales and marketing and getting new leads and getting more sales in the business. But here's the problem. If keeping money in your business is your single biggest problem, so no matter how much sales you make, will not solve the problem. So the name of the game is to stay in the game until you win the game. So how do you stay in the game for long enough is your ability to control the finances. So lesson number two from Sofia Amoruso is learning how to control your finances will be one of the most important thing that you'll ever do. Lesson number three, treat your saving account just like another bill. It has to be paid every month or there are consequences. So many businesses struggle or fail despite being a well-known brand, having been in the business for a long time and despite being a household name. Why is that? Because they don't have a cash flow cushion for a month and two. And when they can't make sales for a month or two, they really struggle in the business because they run into cash flow problems. They should be having at least three to six months of cash flow cushion or run away. You build cushion by putting funds in your in the bank account and your saving account every single month. When you do that, you create a stamina in your business and that will help you to survive and keep your business afloat even when the times are tough. So that's why we can see that 82% of businesses fail in the world because of poor management of cash flow. So if you want to be on the winning side, and then what you need to do is to set up a saving account. You start treating your saving account and put money in that account for times of hardship. And it's the process of how you build up a profitable, sustainable, scalable business, as Sophia recommends. Lesson number four, the more you experiment, take risks, make mistakes, the better you'll know yourself, the better you'll know the world, and most focused you'll be. Female entrepreneurs deal with all kinds of fears, the fear of losing money, the fear of failing in the business, the fear of judgment, what people think of them, the fear of success, whether they, they're wondering whether they deserve the success in the first place or not, or the fear of rejects and holds them so tightly, they don't take action. They're stuck in analyzing paralysis, procrastination, and imposter syndrome kicks in and they say to themselves whether they are good enough or not. But here's the thing, if you don't take a risk, or take experiments then you will not know what works what doesn't work in your business if you're thinking i feel trapped in my business i'm not moving forward or i feel i'm stuck where i should be further ahead in my business you see someone else a friend of yours who was far behind you think before now sees you're thinking that she's ahead of you because she's posting her wins on social media and you kind of feel like you're feeling left behind stop for a moment because you don't know what she has gone through, what risks she has taken, the money she has lost, all the experience she has taken, and all we see is success story mostly in social media. In order to replicate someone else's success in your business, then you need to start taking experiment, taking risks in your business and make your own mistakes. Remember, there is no such thing at 100% certainty in business. There is only one certainty, which is, you are bound to make some mistakes along the way. But that's okay. Remember, mistakes are not mistakes. They are the lessons learned. That's part of life. Lesson number five. Abandon anything about your life and habits that might be holding you back. Learn to create your own opportunities. Know that there is no finish line. Fortune favors action. One thing I've learned through my research on female entrepreneurs is lack of finance know-how holds them back. Because of lack of finance know-how, they don't know what's happening in the business right now to where they want to be and most importantly, how to get there, how to go from where you are right now to where you want to be. And this is the big problem. But there is a bigger problem than this, which is not creating habit of educating yourself. This is so crucial if you want to be a successful business that you learn about the things that you're not good at. So learning and gaining knowledge are so crucial for your business as well as personal growth. This is exactly what Sophia Amaruso was saying, which I shared earlier in the video, which is learning how to control finances is one of the most important tasks or things that you will ever do. If you can go far in your business and impact a lot of people's lives, just like Sophia Amoruso, then you need to create a habit of learning, educating, 
and implementing habits which are crucial for your success. If you got value from this video, then like it and share it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future new videos which I publish every Tuesday at 4 p.m. GMT. Your comments are my oxygen. So don't forget to comment below. I respond to them all. Now, I would like to turn over to you. Which of these lessons resonated with you the most? Let me know by leaving a comment below. Thank mm -hmm. you.